This is Johan Gamble. We're back playing Shadow Hearts. Last time we were doing a bunch of side missions, and now we are going to go ahead and get the last of the demons that we have within Yuri's soul. Yes, we have quite a few, but we're going to start off with this one. So yeah, though, again, um, I used the, the defeated uh, masks to grind a whole bunch of elements off them, because they're really good for that. Other than that, though, we are going to do... There's gonna, they're gonna, there's gonna be a little battle in this part because we're gonna get a couple of secret weapons. We're also gonna go ahead and fight two of the, I think three. Yeah, there's one more secret boss. We're gonna fight two secret bosses in this part, and then we will fight the last secret boss in the next part. But yeah, though here is the level three light fusion. He's, oh, I, his design's really weird. I don't, yeah, he's dropping, I don't know, stuff on me. He's not that hard, though. The only... Yeah, he's not really that hard. Um, I don't really... I don't use him, though, because really... There's only a couple of the three... There's only a couple of the fusions that, of course, we're gonna use, and I... Tr like I said, I tried to vary out the fusion use, but I kind of fell into the rut where the most useful fusion is by far the fire fusion and Amon. Because the fire fusion is so good in this game, the especially in the second game. Holy crap, is it good in the second game? Um, but the fire fusion, uh, the what's really nice is um, the level three form. It still has fighting spirit, right? Where it powers up you, but it powers up your attack by thirty to thirty-six percent. But what's great is it powers up the whole party's nap. Powers up the whole party by thirty to thirty-six percent. And if you and you know, I've been using Haley with the Mind's Eye, and with the Demon um, earrings on. So that means Haley does a shit ton of damage, and so does Yuri. So those two are just pumping tons of damage into the enemy. And then Alice is there just to heal. It is so damn good. It's crazy how good it is. Yeah, the only thing that's kind of annoying about the level three fights is because. The monster's stats are determined on what Yuri's stats are. They have a lot more life. Plus, I am just using a Mon, who, albeit is a very good fusion, doesn't get a but doesn't get like damage bonuses from fighting enemies who are weakened. So, I mean, because he's just, he's a non-element, so that means he doesn't do extra damage. But it means he doesn't. You don't have to worry about um, enemies resi resistant damage. So it's kind of annoying. But you know, what are you gonna do? But, yeah, though. He's almost dead, thankfully. I think... I don't know if the other fights go a little faster, though. Uh, I don't think they go that much faster. Yeah, this is a long part because we get a lot done. We get a whole bunch done. Anyways, we had less light fusion. Feeling of compassion. Cool. Compassion's always a good thing. Just gotta heal up a little bit and check out our new soul. Oh, there you go. There's some bugs still pretty good though. I mean, if you're using a party that used magic attacks, he would be great because he has that ability to raise um, everyone's magic by uh, 30 to 36 percent. So that's pretty good. But physical, I mean, there's no mind's eye form of physical, and that's why physical is so good because of the mind's eye. It is so good. All right, and we're gonna go take on the uh, the way now. Would have actually been a good idea to have my um. Uh, oh, I guess yeah, I don't know. If yeah, we're just gonna go in for it. If it is just the the fusion, the fire fusion is just so good because of it, because of the um power up because of the physical power up. It's it's crazy. It really does make almost all the other fusions kind of worthless in a sense because if you just know what bosses are coming up you can bring if you can bring party members that can use the ability to, that, that can change the um, type of your physical attack to whatever element the boss is weak against there's only a couple of bosses and enemies that are not weak to, that are immune to physical but that there's only like very very few i can only think of one and that's like one of the uh, that's a boss we'll fight later on and yeah i don't know why that bird's got a bush um it's weird it's like a gray bush too so i mean you know whatever it's um it's dead 
So that's fine. So yeah. That was easy. I think that's Icarus? Or did we already have Icarus? No, that's Survey. Survey. Okay. And what do we get? I mean, I know what we get, but what? This desire to cry wells up within you. Well, that's a little sad. Why does it want to cry? Well, maybe it's none of my business. Let's see. Yeah, I don't, I don't get the bush action, but okay. Its feet are weird too. But there we go. There's that. And then we're gonna go ahead and take on the fire because yes, we want to get the final fire. This one actually, this is actually I think one of the longer fights with the fusions in this part, just because. Yeah, fire's a little annoying to take down. Well, it's only like three minutes. And because I use a Mon, I really should have just used Ifrit because I could power up my physical attacks and then I could just steamroll him. But I was using a Mon, and I was trying to use his Demon Ray, but I, I'm I am not good with a Mon special attacks. I am I am really bad with his special attacks. So I don't even. And then I messed up there, so I don't even really try. Um. But yeah. Oh, I love it when I get perfect. When I have Mind's Eye. I think a mom would do more physical damage, but... But I think also, um... Oh yeah, there's Battle Cry. I think he also ha just has some decent defense. I think Lobo might have the best defense, which is the level 3 fusion Earth. But I think this guy rival has, like, the second highest. Anyways, I could have used, um, his healing ability, because he actually has a really good healing ability, but I didn't want to miss it. Amon has a really good healing ability, but you know. Oh, see, look, I, I don't know what my deal was. I must have been like, I don't know, had an eye booger and I couldn't pay attention. I don't know what it was, but something was going on. But the fight's almost over, so it's not that big of a deal. I'm glad you got rid of the moss on your body. Now it's not all mossy. Now you just kind of have like, I don't know, rocks? That, that makes a little more sense. I feel like rocks make more sense than moss because you'd be like molten magma. Sounds like a duck though when you hit him. That's weird. That's that's an odd voice of choice. Anyways, here's Hellfire, which is the ultimate fire move that hits everybody on the field. It actually is um this move reminds me. I don't know if you've ever read the manga. Um, I remember I read it a long time ago, but the manga Dreamland. Uh, I remember when the, I can't remember the main character's name, but when the main character got the, uh, tattoo on his back in one of the, uh, in a fight and someone was looking in, someone was looking at his back and it opened up to, like, a hell, like, you know, like a, a giant gate of fire. That's kind of what that reminds me of. Yeah, he's doing it again, though. The one thing that I don't like about the move Hellfire is it is a long animation. It's slow. I mean, it's cool the first couple of times, but then you're like, okay, can we just get this attack over with? It takes forever. <laughs> I like how it just explodes on the inside of the door. But, yeah, it's not that dangerous. And he's almost dead. This should finish him off. Oh, I almost got it perfect again. And I didn't realize how low my SP was. That would have been fine, though, because then, um, Amon would have got his ultimate move. Atomic Blaster. I think that's what it's called. No, Atomic Dust. I think that's what it's called. It's pretty, it's pretty sick, su sweet sounding name. And there we go. We have the Fire Fusion. The feeling of regret envelops you. And we are definitely equipping this bad boy. He is going to wreck house. I think he wrecks house on the Water Spirit. Now let's go. Let's see how big of a stab boot. 85. Nice. Nice, that's a pretty decent stat boost to his attack. And it only gets bigger with Battle Cry, baby. Seal the grave. Close with an eerie light. I do wish to fight it. Alright, let's go. Let's go to the go-go. And here is the Water Dragon's final form. And I think for some reason I use it in the next fight. I think I was just trying to be cheeky. Anyways, though, just battle cry in this fight is, like, over real fast. And I got perfect, so I get 36% boost instead of just 30. But yeah, though, 
it is so great because the whole party gets a boost. So that does include Alice, so, I mean, I could make her attack physically. It does a little more damage, but it's not, you know. But obviously, the main hitters are Haley and Yuri. It's kind of funny, the monster that increases evasion missed an attack, because I dodged it. That's funny. Iris. I really like the way his attacks look, though. They have, like, a rainbow effect, and it's actually pretty nice. But too bad it doesn't really amount to much, because I believe I kill him... I believe this kills him. Yeah, you can't catch these hands, can you, fool? And he's done for. Satisfying as hell, baby. Egil. 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 Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce his name. I was gonna say Egil. Feeling of emptiness. Oh, well, that's, that's really sad. I can relate to that feeling. Anyways, I think I use him, though, for some reason. He looks cool, though. I like the way he looks. Okay, good. I don't use him. I was about to say, that wouldn't really make sense to use him. And we will fight the last fusion here. And that is Lobo! I... I mean, the... Uh, this fusion's pretty good, and I do like him, but I, I still prefer his second level... I, I still prefer his second level form more, just because I like the way the bull looked. With the horns and the broken motif. But Lobo is pretty cool, too. Lobo is pretty cool as well. And he's, he's pretty strong. His shout actually can heal quite a bit of life. Especially if you perfect it. Like, 469, that is, that is nothing to scoff at. And, um, you know, his other ability being where everyone gets a physical defense boost. Which is actually pretty decent. I like the way his level 3 move looks, though. Summons a meteor and just, bam, crushes you with it. Actually does a lot of damage to enemies. It's just, Amon is just pretty... Amon's pretty defensive. Amon is pretty awesome. Oh, there's his defense boost. But it doesn't really matter, though, because he's almost dead. It's a big shield now, though. Actually covers his whole body. Remember the original one? And even It was just like a tiny little chest plate. Oh, almost perfect again. But yeah, though, that's kind of a big boost, though. I'm not even... I'm barely doing 200 damage to him now, each turn. But thankfully, though, he didn't heal. But I think he does in the next turn. I think... Oh, see, I missed. Because I'm an idiot. Oh, he doesn't heal. <laughs> I thought he- I thought he did. Well, this fight's almost over, but... I could've used the specials on him, the demon, uh, Ray, but... Again, I'm just not good with his, uh... I'm not good with that judgment wheel. Who's this guy I think he is? Madara? Summoning meteors? Summoning giant rocks from the sky? I don't appreciate that, wolf boy. And he's done. And that is our last fusion, at least from the graveyard. There's one more secret fusion we need to acquire, but that is a little... That'll be... Maybe the next episode I get it? I think I get it. It might be the next episode that I get it. Yeah, I think we might get his... No, no, no. Is it... I don't remember. It's either the next episode or the episode after that that we get the, uh... The last secret fusion. Anyways, here's Lobo. Controls even space-bound rocks. That is really cool. Anyways, I'm putting Surge and Bog back on there just because I want to. And I just wanted to show you, look, the masks. They're still broken. But they still, you know, they still have the mouse around them, so... Just gotta deal with that problem. Anyways, though... We are now going to acquire all the secret abilities of our fusions. Um, and the way to get that is, if you remember, there's a bunch of question marks on the third slot of their attacks. And the way to get that is to have them go berserk. Once they go berserk, they use the move and they learn their special attack. And that's the attack that they used against us. So there is a revelation, which is what Yuri's dad actually used when we controlled them. There's strike. He, I don't think he used this one. Yeah, Demon's Cry. He, we didn't get to see what that looked like.
And then we already seen this move. This move is like I think it's the long I think it's one of the longer attacks in the game. Oh my I don't know. It feels a lot longer than the other ones. Cause it summons the door, opens the door, the door farts, and then it lets out all the gas. But oh well. Pretty good move though nonetheless. And then we've already seen this move. Shock Barrage, but it looks pretty cool, though. Especially when it's outside. Alright. And then... I don't think we... No, 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 we saw his move, which is Pulse. Which is where he drips Molten Light on us. I like the way it looks, though, when, you're, when he starts it, and then when it... You know... And anyways, here is Amon's, which is the okay. I thought that was Atomic Dust. What's Atomic Dust then? Anyways, it looks pretty cool. And there we go. That is all of the special moves, at least until we get the Secret Fusion. But again, we don't need to worry about that for now. And anyways, though, we are going to go to the Ancient Ruins. This is our first place that we're going to head towards. You can only find this place once you have the um, the book that we received. I believe it's the the Book of Rituals. And it tells you how to get through this place. It says, cross the rainbow, then follow the drops of blood to the Royal Garden. So we need to use the hint that it gave us to drop to cross the rainbow. And if you know how the rainbow pattern is, you'll use that to your advantage. So for right now, what we need to do is when we go inside, there will be flames. There'll be flames of different colors and you have to go the way of the rainbow. Anyways, get uh, angel earrings. We of course already know what that does. I forgot what they were, so I didn't, I couldn't remember if we've seen them already, but we have already. For some reason he doesn't have his flare brooch on, which should always be on. Oh yeah, that's right, I remember. I took it off because I wanted to hit berserk quicker. Anyways, though, so you need to go red, so it would be the way of the rainbow, so it's like red, yellow, I don't remember, I had it written down when I did this, I don't remember exactly, it's like red, yellow, or is it, is it blue? Yeah, no, it's yellow, yeah, so red, yellow, and then, or is it, yeah, red, yellow, orange, red, yellow, orange, I don't, Okay, so red, orange, yellow. I don't know, okay? I don't. I had it written down. I don't remember. I'm sorry. So the, uh, green. Okay, so this is actually an important place, and we'll come back here again later, because we do need to get the secret fusion. Anyways, this is a Baskalis. Pet transformed by drinking Aspie saliva. It has lost its mind, but still recognizes its owner's voice. It, its breath stinks. It is a uh, 800 attack. It, uh, only, it's a fire element, and it likes to use blaze and petrification, but that is, yeah, he's not even, it's not even an issue. Haley should finish him off. Like, look at, Haley's doing 200 damage, almost, uh, almost 300 damage with a single shot, and he still hasn't even got his ultimate weapon yet, and I will power up their ultimate weapons to the max, so then they'll do even more damage. It costs a bit of money, but it is... It is most certainly worth it. And we just have to keep going. And let's see, then it would be blue, a light blue, and then dark blue, and then purple would be last, I believe. So yeah, the dark blue, then purple. Mm-hmm, there we go. So I kind of remember the rainbow. The music in here is nice, but kind of haunting in a way, too. It's a little box. Anyways, after this should be the last uh, the last gateway. After going through this gateway, yep, the water will drain, and we will be spat out through this door. Ah, there we are. Anyways, if we come down here, there will be a treasure chest, and of course, this treasure chest will have the ultimate armor for Alice. Which is great, but she's not very defensive. So her having more defense is amazing. 
We received the gold thread coat. So Alice is completely stocked now. She has her ultimate armor and she also has her ultimate weapon. So now we just need to get Yuri's ultimate armor and weapon, which are actually the last ones we get in the game. And Haley's ultimate weapon, which we are going to get in this part. And we and, and we will also get Susan's ultimate weapon. And we already got Keith's ultimate weapon, but we will also get his ultimate armor in this part too. Margaret's already done. So yeah. Everyone will get their ultimate weapon and armor in this part, except for except for Yuri, because his ultimate armor is is linked to the final secret fusion, and his ultimate weapon cannot be gotten until we head to the final part of the game. To the very, very final part. Anyways, if you look back in the Book of Rituals, it is now changed. Now we need to go backwards. So instead of starting from red, we need to start from purple. So go purple, blue, purple, dark blue, light blue, green, yellow, orange, red. And then that should open this door again and flood the water. So let us go that way once more. So we need to go purple. So yep, you just go backwards this time. Yeah, this music though is really um, and that looks like the Kingdom Hearts uh symbol on the ground. Kind of looks like the Kingdom Hearts crown. Yeah, anyways, though, yeah, though, like I said, this music is a little haunting just because it sounds the the. The music box sound in particular. And then light blue. And I think this is a new enemy. I think it's the sweeper, if I remember? Yes, yeah, the sweeper. His attack is funny. He like when he punches you, he like bitch slaps you a lot. It's funny. Um realized form of various poisons in the ground. The body is filled with harmful gas and also has eyes on his back. So yeah, this is a sweeper. It is an earth type. It has seven hundred and fifty attack. And it just likes to use rock storm. Um that's about it. Nothing really dangerous. And he's... Yeah, we killed him before he even got to attack. But yeah, though, his attack is funny, though. He just, like, bitch slaps. He goes, boom, 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 boom. Looks like a fish. Anyways, I think that's the... Yeah, we won't be seeing any more new enemies except for the two bo secret bosses in this part. That's it. Yeah, that really does look like the Kingdom Hearts crown. And, okay, green. So we're almost done then. Yellow, orange, red. <sighs> Thankfully this... Oh, and there's an item over there. D did, I, did I see... Oh, I did not see the item there. I did not notice that item there. I don't actually know what that item is. Weird. I actually do not know what that item is. Alright, and this will be the last one to go through. And then... The water will... Drain. The giant door will oh, will lead us back out to the big to the front. And you're gonna want to save for this part because this part actually is a little hard. But I actually had no problem at all thanks to my uh, party setup. Again, Haley having the mind's eye, Yuri having the mind's eye, and then just using the level three fire fusion and powering up our physical attacks. I decimated this boss, and this boss actually gave me a lot of trouble in the uh, in my practice run. And so did the uh, and so did the other boss we're gonna find this part, but they gave me no trouble in this part, so it's really nice, very nice when that happens. Still kind of a longish fight, but not a hard one with my proper setup. Anyways, here is the fight. This is Seraphim. He actually kind of looks like Jesus, a little bit. Yeah, right? Am I not the only... Yeah, th so this is Seraphim. Ah. Uh, incubus that calls itself by an angel's name and flies on the night of the new moon with six beautiful wings. It eats the souls of girls while they're dreaming. So he has 4,000 life. He is non-element. And he likes to use divine punishment, regeneration, shout, and holy tears. I don't think I've ever seen holy tears. Um, But yeah, though. Well, if she's an incubus, then that... Yeah, incubuses are... Magic creatures. Anyways, though. Yeah, for some reason, I I thought he was Earth for a second. And for some reason, he's an air shot. But really, though, I just... I just need... But you, how can you hate him? You don't even know him. I just need to start shooting him with... Um, 
my physical attack. But even still, though, they did a bit of damage. And she's just going to keep everyone healed. Yeah, with her arc, it's so great. Took forever for her to learn an all-healing move, but man, now that she did, it's great. I really like his design, though. It's really cool. It's a little meaty, though. A little fleshy. He actually does a... He actually does a bit of damage. He actually um, is pretty physically strong. He does a lot of damage, and his attacks hit pretty much everybody. I only got the 30%, which is a bummer, but 30% is not bad. Rather have 36%, but... Yeah, as you can see, though, we are... Haley is doing some serious damage. But yeah, though, he can do a lot of damage, too. Really quickly, so you really need to make sure you keep the party at full health. Which is why you have Ark. The only thing is, though, Ark uses a lot of, a a lot of MP, but it does fully heal you, which is great. It does not give it. It does not give her status affliction, though, which is unfortunate. But it's okay. Now that we have that, though. We can now start doing some serious damage. How do you like being punched in the chest? You can shot with a slingshot. Damn, four hundred seventy-eight damage. That is great. I like the way he looks though when he attacks though. But if we don't need to use Arc, we won't. Mainly because Arc is kind of a long attack. It takes a long time. But also Kira will suffice when it's just one party member. Because Kira is still useful. It doesn't take that much MP. It can still heal quite a bit. It heals more though if I get perfect. And I fucked up there because I don't know why. Sometimes I just do. But the fight's almost over. See, he's starting to wobble. Stone the wibble wobble. I like I like the way that attack looks a lot though. There's that rainbow again. And it does a pretty decent amount of damage to everybody. Which should definitely be healed off as soon as possible. You should feel comfortable with this attack though, since it's summoning like stained glass windows, which kinda gives off a church feel and he looks kinda like Jesus. All right, and fight should be, I think, Haley, oh, there we go. Oh, God, he's going for his neck. Bam, goodbye, and that is Seraphim. Not too hard if you go at it like me. And we get the Volt Snipe, which is Haley's ultimate weapon. It's a really weird looking weapon. And with that, we're done with this place. There's nothing more to do here for now. We will come back here later. But for now, there's nothing else we can do here. So yeah, that's... The Book of Rituals will not change, I think. Yeah, it won't change, so it's done there. But let's go ahead and give him his Volt Snipe. See, so yeah, look at that. That's a huge boost. And it is a weird-looking weapon. I I don't understand. I'm sorry, Is that's a slingshot? I'm... I'm very confused, but okay. If you say so, game. But that though, we can now leave. Because we now need to head to the next secret boss. We need to head to... Let's see, this is the um, ancient ruins. We need to go to... I think it's called... What, what is it called again? Oh yeah, we're going here first because I want to power up our we I want to power up uh, the weapons we have. It's gonna be a lot of. It's gonna take a lot of money. Fortunately, yeah. So we gotta wait for Yuri's, but we can do Haley's. Definitely want Haley's uh, attack, but then we're gonna have to. Yeah, see, it costs a lot of money, but it is very much worth getting Haley's all the way up. Okay, so it's not, yeah, so it's not just Yeri, it's all the men in the party. I don't know about Zuzan, though. And then the ladies don't have anything like that. For um, Alice, though, I'm not actually going to um, upgrade hers all the way, just her attack power. Because she doesn't need her hit power. She doesn't need her hit area up. 
Because she doesn't, I never attack with her physically. Just her attack power needs to be up. Her hit area can stay at the lowest level. Because her magic isn't affected by the hit area. It has a pre it always has the same hit area no matter what the weapon is. So, for spells at least. For physical attacks, obviously it changes, but yeah. But, you know, you shouldn't really be attacking physically with um, Alice. Anyways, though, we did Ancient Ruins, and now we need to head over to London because we need to go to the Cave Temple, which is the place that opened up from the um, other book we had, which opened up from the other book we have. The one with, that looks like it has a little baby in it. It's kind of creepy, honestly. Um, but yeah, though, to the Cave Temple. And here we will find... Here we will get Zuzan's ultimate weapon. Um, Keith's ultimate armor. And I think that's about it, yeah. Same as here, though. Here's a map. And this shows you how to get through the place. So we're going to want to follow it from the right to the left. Yep, let's follow it from the right to the left. You can go past me. Thank you. Sometimes I am an idiot. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah, so you're going to want to go up first because there is a treasure here, I believe. Yep, there's a hidden treasure here. Priest earrings. And I don't remember what those do. Okay, so yeah, those are actually pretty good. MP consumption down. But we already have one on Alice and we don't and I don't need one on Haley, so anyways though. Yeah, this music is kinda somber. But yeah, though there's no new enemies here either. There's just basilisks, I believe. Still collecting all that uh malice from those monsters I kill. Anyways, this place isn't too hard though. It's pretty simple. I wonder who made these places, though. Does not make sense. Who made these places? For what purpose? Here's another item. I think it's a lottery ticket? Yes, it is a lottery ticket. But we're not doing any more lotteries. And I wish I could, but because I missed one on the ship with Sergeant Kato, I can't do... I can't get the... I can't do the final lottery member. Um, who is Roger Bacon, by the way? And he gives you, I think, underwear. Like loafers? They're like really good defense items. But unfortunately though, because I I messed up. Anyways, here's the mantle mant of shivering. That is um Keith's ultimate armor. I didn't know what it was though when I first got it though for a second though in this part. I'm like, what is that? But yeah, that we're gonna go see I was trying to find it. I didn't know what it was. But it is Keith's ultimate armor. Okay, so now it tells us what we need to do. Reading the Immigre Manuscript. Take the path on the right. Uh, stone Temple on the right. So actually, uh, oh, you know, I think we go the right way now. So we, we go from right to left. I think I was going left to right. I don't remember exactly. I think I, I, think I went left to right, and now we have to go right to left. I don't remember. <laughs> Sorry, viewers. So anyways, though. This opens up. We get the fifth key. That is a useful item. Anyways, though, so let's continue on. And this pathway will take us to the secret, to the to this place's secret boss, who also gave me a lot of trouble um, in my practice playthrough, but this time didn't give me nearly as much. Again, I have a much different setup. Keys to success. Uh, it didn't give me nearly as um, much trouble as it did in this part. But again, my party's different. By practice, I had Margaret. I didn't use any of the Mind's Eye. Um, so Margaret, no Mind's Eye. <clears throat> so I had Yuri, Alice, Margaret. And none of the characters had the Mind's Eye on it. And I also didn't have the Flare Brooch. So yeah, it was, it was harder. Um, but with that, though? Don't know what I'm doing here. I think I was 
mentally prepared myself, getting my items ready. There we go. Here we fight another one of these guys. Well, it's not Seraphim, it's a different dude, but kind of similar. This is Cherry Bim, who's really ugly. Cherry Bim, malicious ghost that bears the same name as the Angel of Knowledge. It takes over children's bodies and devours them slowly. Tiny bells ring when it walks. Mm, sorry for my coughing. Um, he actually has a lot of HP. He has 10,000 HP. He is not element. And he likes to use exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, and divine punishment. So, also make sure you have crucifixes on. Um, otherwise, his exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. No, 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 his divine punishment. I don't know if I mentioned this, but divine punishment can give you status inflictions. So, yeah, you want to be careful. He's really creepy. He's got, like, Pope hat on. But thankfully, though, this fight, um, I do manage to get it. I do manage to do it really quickly. He just has a lot of HP, which is what makes him annoying. And the fact that he can lower your HP to 1 is kind of annoying. But he can only do it to one character. But yeah, please make sure you have um, Crucifix on because um, he really likes to... Um, he really likes to inflict that afflictions. And also to note, he cannot be hurt by any magic attacks. You have to do physical. He is he is pure he is pure physical base. You have to use physical on him. You will absorb magic. Yeah. So special skills he will absorb. So that's why this fight also took me a long time in the original to in my practice because I used a lot of magic. I didn't use I mean I did physical of course but I didn't have like the mind's eye or anything on so you know it took longer. But, uh, thankfully, because this this playthrough is definitely more physical-based, I think. Um, it's a lot easier. He's a lot easier to deal with. Plus, I have Crucifix on. I didn't... I don't think I had enough Crucif... I think I only had, like, two Crucifix when I f fought him. So one character was always out of the loop. I don't know why I had so few. As, though, as you can see, though, we're dealing all... We're doing just a little bit under a thousand damage with each, uh, character. But together, though, we're definitely dealing around 3,000. Here's Divine Punishment. Which is a rainbow. Ah! Uh. But, yeah, though, he can't... He can't deal enough damage. and He can't deal enough damage to where he can kill anybody. May the only way I could see him maybe killing someone is if he uses his physical attacks, gets three hits in a row with the physical attack, and gets a strike on, like, more than one on um, either Alice or Haley, probably Haley, just because he's in the front row and he takes more and he takes more damage. But even then though, I don't know. Yeah though, he's uh, he should be, he should be showing his um, he should start uh, showing his uh, struggling, he should start uh, kind of slumping over soon. Do some more rainbows, please. I'm not afraid of your rainbows, Cherahim. I got you in the bag, buddy. Two of my characters have their ultimate... The, you're fighting two characters right now with their ultimate weapon and armor. Yuri does not have either yet, but he will, trust me. He will have them both very soon. And the fight should actually be almost over. We only got like a minute left. But yeah, though, he has... Yeah, there we go. See, he's 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 in for a bad time. But yeah, though, he has a lot of life. I think he might have the most... No, I don't think he has more life than the final boss. I'm not sure. But he definitely has... I think the final boss might have more life than him, but... I think he might have the second most life then. He has 10,000. That is a lot. I don't... Every other enemy we fought has had up to, like... Has had the four digits, but never had a five digit. But, you know, he's, uh... Should be going down pretty soon. 
I think Haley finishes him off. I always love that, because I mean Haley just has a slingshot. Something about that really makes me laugh. He's actually doing a little more damage than Yuri, but I think that's because he has um the demon earring on, which increases his physical attack. There we go, yep, nice. And that's done. So yeah, he's actually a lot harder if you don't focus on physical like I did in my practice, but I did in this run, so he was a piece of cake. And we get Zuzin's ultimate weapon, the Holy Peak Staff. And Haley learned his ultimate spell, Shock Max. It's okay. It's not that amazing. It's okay. But with that, though, everything's done, and I will see you in the next part. We continue doing just a couple more side missions. So this has been New Game. Thanks for watching. Bye then.